This is episode 2 of the Solar Plane Project. If you saw episode 1, you'll know that I built a solar plane with solar panels in the wing, and successfully flew it on battery power. Now from this point looking back at the flight, I don't know how it was successful because the wing's structure had some serious flaws. But let's go back to just after the first flight. I used a watt meter to test if the solar cells would put out enough power to fly the plane. So I first measured the motor's current draw at full throttle. 77 watts and 6.7 amps. Now at full throttle, the plane would climb at about 100 feet per minute. And while doing so, it would draw 77 watts and 6.7 amps. Now here's the key bit of information. Without any covering film on the wing, it was able to produce 6.1 amps and 68.8 watts. However, in this test, the wing was laying flat on the ground and not aiming directly at the sun. I never measured the plane's cruising current draw, but I'm guessing it would have been within the panel's output capacity and able to sustain flight. Now for the second test flight, I wired the solar panels into the power system like this. With the receiver controlled switch, I could disconnect the battery and the motor would be pulling directly from the solar panels. Before I even got a chance to switch over to the solar power, the plane got stuck in a turn and crashed. All the cells in the wing shattered. So I took them out and recovered the wing for more test flights. I fixed up the rest of the plane and added a rudder. Same thing happened again. I simply couldn't get out of steep turns. At this point, I thought I just didn't have enough control authority, so I added bigger ailerons with two servos each. This is the fourth flight. After being in the air for a couple seconds, the same thing happened again. This time, I was able to get a better look at what was happening. The ailerons would basically just twist the wing instead of banking it to one side like they should have. So if one aileron would go down, that side of the wing would twist forward and lower its angle of attack. This would cancel out the effects of the aileron completely. Here you can really see how wonky the wing was getting. At this point, the wing and fuselage are pretty trashed, so I'll be starting from scratch. Solar Plane V2 will have a slightly longer wingspan and two spars instead of one to hopefully make it twist less. I'm also planning on making the wing halves detachable for better transportation. I'll be able to have more solar cells for higher power output and have an MPPT charger to charge the battery instead of directly running the motor. All this will have to wait a week or so because I'm currently running a bit low on capital. But stay tuned for part three. Thanks for watching. Bye.